Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Our topic today is immigration. We will be talking to an immigration officer, so person asking you questions when you enter a country. And some keywords are purpose. I will ask, what is the purpose of your visit? So why are you visiting? So why? And visit. Why are you visiting? And some of the answers are, for example, travel or sightseeing. Sightseeing means going to famous places to see the Statue of Liberty, for example. And we will also be talking about where you will be staying, so the address. All right, let's try. So I will be the immigration officer asking you questions, so please answer. Hello, what is the purpose of your visit? Visiting my family. Visiting your family, yes. okay. Have you been to the US before? Yes. I see, I see. Are you traveling alone or with someone else? Just me. Just you? Okay, okay. And how long are you going to be staying in New York for? For two months. Two months to visit <laughs> your family. And what address will you be staying at? Rotel Hotel. I see, a famous hotel here in New York. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what is the purpose of your visit? Travel. Traveling, I see. Have you ever been to the US before? Yes. Yes, oh, thank you for visiting again. Are you traveling alone or with someone else? With my cousin. With your cousin, so how many of you? Two. Two, okay. And how long are you going to be staying in New York for? Five days. Five days, I see, a very short trip. Uh, what address will you be staying at? Hotel Hotel in New York. Oh, a famous hotel, I see. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your visit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this was our dialogue. One thing that you might notice is that in many countries, especially in America, people talk about many different things, which is called small talk as well. So sometimes not everything is part of the conversation. And some very important questions are how long you are going to be staying because there is a visa, there is a set time. So if you stay for too long, then it's not good. So they ask how long and what address or where you will be staying to make sure that you are not being homeless. And if you have been to the United States before. So if you are visiting for the first time or not. All right. Do you have any questions? I have been asked how much money I have. That is also an important question because there are many immigrants who come with no money, who don't have a way to live in America, and who don't have money to buy a plane ticket back home. So they are asking about whether you can actually pay for your hotel and pay for the traveling, for the sightseeing and pay for your trip back. So usually they are not asking whether you have so much money that you can buy a house, but you should have more than maybe $100. So it's usually a few thousand dollars. If you are going for you know two months, it's very long, so you need a lot of money. And sometimes they can also ask if you have a plane ticket back home already so, so to make sure that you will not be staying forever. Okay. Thank you for coming to the lesson today. Uh, we are waiting for you to come visit us at Chat Shack. See you next time. Bye! Bye.